Welcome back, General. Bismillah, General. Thank you, Council. Member of the Council. Um, now I want to move to a different topic. After serving for three years plus as CDS, you were charged with treason. You were arrested and charged with treason. You were prosecuted. And eventually convicted. And subsequently pardoned. Uh, could you please run us through what happened? For a council. Tonyala council. Um, it happened that in 2009. 2009. 2009. At the time, I was. Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambian Armed Forces. That I got arrested in Atamuta alongside other people. Nimodolu. Could you provide the names, please? Abdullah Juf. Abdullah Juf. Go ahead, yes. And then? Yusuf Ezedin. Yusuf Ezedin. Alias Rambo. Yulkafai Rambo. Brigadier General Omar B. Mbai. Brigadier General Omar B. Mbai. Yes, go ahead. Major Lamin Baji. Major Lamin Baji. Lamin Bo Baji. Lamin Bo Baji. Um, Major Kausu Kamara. Major Kausu Kamara. Alias Bombarde. Dolkafai Bombarde. Deputy Inspector General of Police. Uh, police of the Nolanko. Modugay. Modugay. Uh, did you mention two names? Jalo. Jalo. And also Modugay. And Modugay. Modugay, yes. Modugay. Hmm. Modugay was what? Modugay. Was de Deputy Inspector General of Police. Uh, tell them police of uh, the Nolanko. And Jalo. Jalo. Dum. Did you say a jalo? A jalo kontam fa leba. No, I don't, I don't think I meant some jalo. Malla la nga jalo fo. Okay. Then then uh -huh. proceed please. And then. Proceed? Yes, I'm trying to recall some of the names. Ngor Seka? Yes, Jibril Ngor Seka. Jibril Ngor Seka. Proceed. And so can I be guided? I'm far from uh, other names. Yes, those <laughs> were, uh, I believe those were the people, according to this report. <laughs> but ultimately, some two people did not come to trial. No, one person. One person. More killing. In fact, the person was present in the early stage of the trial. So, like I said, myself, alongside those names I've mentioned, got arrested in respect of an alleged coup against the President of the Republic, who then was Yahya Jame. I was at a football match. And soldiers went to my house. First, in the one in Kololi. I was not found there. And they proceeded to the one in Brusubi. Wrong, wrong. Um, uh, not Brusubi. Um, Pigilo. 
Bijilo. Bijilo. They proceeded to my house in Bijilo. And I was not found there. I then received a call from my wife um, in Kololi. That soldiers came there in two vehicles, fully armed. And when they arrived in my house in Bijilo. I, that wife also called me to inform me. Then I was in Serekunda East Football Park. I was with a close friend, Ibrahim Ajalo. When I received the information, I told my wife that I was coming to the house to meet them. My car was blocked by other spectators. I left it with my friend whom I was with at the time, Ibrahim Ajalo. I chartered a taxi and returned back to my house in Bijilo. It was that very day that my wife returned from her trip to the United States. The time she arrived in the house, the soldiers were already there as well. But hence they didn't find me in. They left two plain clothes around. As I arrived back in the house, they approached me and explained that they've come to arrest me. But they suggested that they will call, they will call their colleagues so that they will arrive in the vehicle. And that happened. Then I was put in the car. Uh, could you tell us um, the soldiers that came to arrest you? Actually, the soldiers that came, mostly they were junglers. And they were very junior ranks. And I could not recognize them facially. And I don't know them by names. But, but I could recall two people. I could recall the presence of Bora Koli. And I could recall the presence of Sol Baje. And these were all junglers? Yes, the, the, the ones who came, they were all junglers because they were armed and, and dressed up in jungler uniform, which was black, black. Yesterday you told us that you didn't know Jora Koli was a jungler. He wasn't dressed in jungler. I told you that officers don't dress in jungler uniform. They put on normal uniform, the camouflage or the green. Bora walked under me before at the state house. So of course, I was able to know him. But nonetheless, he was a jungler. At the time I was at the state house, he wasn't. But by the time he came to arrest you, you could confirm that this person was a jungler. But at the time of my arrest, he was putting on the normal camouflage. Different from the uniform the other junglers were putting on. So all that time I could not establish that he was a jungler. But what I could establish was they were all from the state guards because he was putting on that uniform. Uh, uh, it's not an important point. Proceed, please. So they, we left my residence in Bijilo and they decided to drive through my residence in Kololi. Uh, did they tell you who gave the order for your arrest or the authority for your arrest? Certainly, when I asked them why, why my arrest, they said they've been sent by the IGP at that time, S.R. Baji. And the head of the NIA, Numo Kujabi. That was the message they gave me. Uh, uh, General. General. Yeah. 
You are CDS. You are CDS. So you Does the IGP have any power to come and arrest you? IGP police or the Nyatongo. Where is Mbosso or the Kanyeta In real sense, he cannot. The Nyatongo is a Mbosso. But if soldiers, there is soldier role who used to work under me. Me no can do kente koto. Uh, we are the ones present in the arrest. Me alone ko wole fongo da be muta ro mo lukono. They did the arrest. Tele du ye muta. Certainly. Koto. I have to take it as yes. Well, you have established that legally it cannot and should not happen. Correct. The soldiers who were present there, legally, can they take any orders from the IGP or from the head of the NIA? So, General Minutata J. Kanayino Kang, Luala Karola. Nia Jube, Fo, Wolias and Bosso de la Bang, Puruka Kamubta, IGP Bulubang, Warando E Nai La Nyadon Kobulu, Purkan Hitano Kamba. Especially to come and arrest the CDS of the army. Surtu Kanamo no Muda, May Alon Quatern, Sojaro Bela Kundongo de Bangoka. Council, let me take you backwards a bit. Council Batumi Murundi Komadomandi, so that it will be clear. Rasi Senea. When I was removed from, in fact, that time I was removed from office, okay. and redeployed and redeployed again to the foreign service. And eventually appointed as, and appointed as Gambia's ambassador to Taiwan. In fact, I got the letter from the foreign service. But at that time, the minister, the foreign minister, was not in town. And I was asked to wait for his until he arrives, so that I'll be deployed to my area of posting. So before he could return from his trip, that was when this incident happened. So, so, so you are not CDS at that time? I was retired CDS already. But, but even in spite of that, is it normal for soldiers of the Gambia Armed Forces to be taking their instructions and their orders from the police or from the NIA? For an Gambia soldier rule. Under normal situation, it is not. It cannot happen that way. But when I saw that all those who came to arrest me were from the state house, under the state guards battalion, certainly I knew that the order must have come from a higher authority. I've said it here, I've said it here yesterday that junglers, they received their instructions, their orders from the president. So certainly, I knew that they cannot come on their own. So certainly, you know they were ordered by Yaya Jame to come and arrest you. That's the truth, isn't it? It could be either from Yajame or from uh, you know, a higher authority because I was not the CDS. There was a CDS at the time. Asikeno Yajame si kangodi, but between Asikeno I have been yatun kalu tumu manke CDS. But but general, now that you are a CDS, you are a civilian. The CDS himself would not have any reason or any authority to ha to arrest you. In general, it's a civilian only. CDS from member member J. What a hundred some boss are under the council of Purkana in Okan Kemura. Under the law, he would have no business with you as a civilian. Lua Koto, a man some boss of the Purkana in Okan to Malam and Etamanga Sarwiz Latisai. It should be the police who should come and do it. Police or Lenyan and Ari in Okan Kemura. But a civilian only with the Sira. You are right, council. But in the military setup, certainly at that time, I was newly removed from the military. And certainly, as a former general, certainly I remain under the army, whereby operationally, certainly they could call on me. So seeing them, I could not resist. 
Because I, I, I know that at the end of the day, reasons will be given why I was arrested. But General, you told us that these junglers did not take their instructions from the CDS. In fact, to recall your, con your, your testimony of head, you said to this commission, there was no CDS in the army who had control over the junglers. The junglers were being controlled by a higher and different authority. That was State House. That's what you said, isn't it? Certainly, that was what I said. So the CDS could not have sent the junglers to come and arrest you. So only one person could have sent the junglers to come and arrest you. And that person was Yaya Jamet. True or false? Council, yes, I said that um, the president gives instructions and directives to the junglers. But I saw senior officers also um, in the passing of Bora Koli and, and Suleiman Baji. We are also serving at the State Guards Battalion. But General, in all honesty, General, this, this is a simple point, point. and uh, let's deal with it quickly. Yaya Jame ordered your arrest. Yaya Jame. That is the truth. That Yaya is the Jame. plain truth. Yaya Jame. It's the plain and naked truth. Accept it and we move on. And so I think um, if you allow me, I will read there. I think there is, there is, there is time for every action. And of course, my knowledge also came at a time. So that is why you allow me to learn. When I reach there, you will know who sanctioned for my arrest. Well, you know who sanctioned your arrest. Just tell us. Who you don't have to go through a process of discovery. You know that ex-person ordered your arrest. Tell us who ordered your arrest. And so I think to have a smooth um, 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 conversation, you should allow me to give an explanation uh, so, that, so, that my, so that my message will, so that my information will flow. Uh, if I should I be interrupted, will oblige you. Go ahead. If I should be interrupted, I might lose track of the sequence of events. Fair enough. Go ahead and give the explanation that you want and to give. Then, so, I was taken away that evening towards night. And I found myself at the NIA headquarters where I was seated in the waiting room. I stayed there for three, four hours. Then, but, but then I was sitting there with the former Inspector General of Police, um, 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 Esa Baji. Along with the Inspector, uh, Director General of the NIA, Numo Kujabi. So when I, I met them, we all sat together. But all that time, they could not tell me the reason for my being there. General, General let me ask a question here. Now yes. you are sitting with the top bra of the police. And when you were being arrested, you were told that the police ordered your arrest. But now you are sitting with the IGP. He could not even tell you why you were there. Isn't that ironic?
Council, yes, that was what happened. Until when I had to ask him. He told me that just wait. We will have a meeting later on. We are waiting for some people. So I sat there with them. After a while, then Modugay walked in along with Bombardier, Kausu Kamara. They, they greeted me and, and they walked past to another office. So I was wondering all along what happened uh, that I am here until the, the inspector general is here, of police is here, the deputy is here. And even Kausu Kamara Bombarde, who was posted in Kanelai, is also here. So after a while, um, Esabaji and Mokujabi said to me that um, they'll be coming for me. So they got up and they walked away to another office. And from there I saw Bombardier and Modugay being taken away. They came and passed me where I was sitting again. Then came up to after midnight, around 1 a.m. Then I was called. I was called to Then I followed and then saw myself in a conference room. In which premises? In the NIA headquarters. So in the conference room, I met a panel who broke the news to me that my arrest was as a result of a plan coup that I was involved in. I denied the allegation, so, so. and there they gave me a form to make my statement. But in that process, they asked me if I knew who Rui Jabi Gasama was. General, uh, I have given you the room that you asked for to explain. My question as to who ordered your arrest has still not been answered. And you have spoken for about five minutes. <laughs> Perhaps it is best that you answer that question and that you continue on this narrative. Sikeno membe tirinda fang yo ina yini karo ni ya jabi folo ina na tenta ila yinta de sarola. Um. Council, and this is why I said, just allow me time. If, I to, if I'm to follow the sequence of events, suddenly I will read there as to who stands on for my arrest. I did not lose sight of that. Okay, proceed. So okay. whilst at the panel, certainly Esa Baji was there. was there. So they saw that at a later point, I was not ready to cooperate with them. Because I raised concerns that I have just been appointed, appointed as the ambassador to, to Taiwan. So what must have prompted me so, to, to stage a coup the time I was in the army as the chief of defense staff, I had all the weaponry and the personnel under my command. I never staged a coup. I told them um, when the president was in Mauritania, there was a planned coup against him. I foiled the, the, the coup when the president was not in town. If I had wanted, at that time, I could have been president. So it was when the Baji reacted I said to me, sir, we have been given information. You know, and the president stands on this, this, this panel for us to arrest those people and to investigate into the matter. That was what he told me, that the president stands on for that. So, so, the president ordered your arrest? Certainly, if he stands on for that um, um, panel, 
And that's, that was what Esa Abaji told me. Esa, Esa Abaji the President Sanson from Maares. We have received information that for the 2006 panel, people who appeared before the panel, and did not cooperate, and we were tortured by the junglers. And many of you are in In your own case, you refuse to cooperate with the panel. You are in tortured. For you, Tajire Alba. Ansel, I don't think I refuse to cooperate. Well, that's, that's what you said. You said you did not cooperate. You That is what you just said. If I had said that, then that is a slip of the tongue. There is no way I could not cooperate. Hence, I accepted to go up to the NIA headquarters. There was, there was nothing that could have stopped me from cooperating with them. You denied the allegations. Certainly, I did. You ah, did not confess taula. anything. Correct. Were you tortured? Ansel, I wasn't tortured. What happened later in the night? I was taken to mile two. Where I spent the night. At this time, where was Tumbul Tamba? Tumbul Tamba Ale. I could not see Tumbul in the panel. Was he still working at State House? Yes, he was. 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 I cannot remember whether or not if Tumbul was alive that time. How about Musa Jame? Musa Jame was one time he was dismissed from the army. So I may not remember whether at the time of my arrest he was brought back. I cannot remember that. I, want, I don't want to speculate. Okay. Uh, but you were not tortured at all. So, so what happened that night? Like I said, I was taken back to mile two, where I spent the night. The following day, I was brought back to the panel. At this stage, when you were taken to mile two, were you sought any warrant of arrest? No, counsel, I wasn't. Was that lawful? Certainly, um, it, it wasn't. In 2006, it was the same thing that was done. There was no, there were no warrants of arrest sued to anybody. True or false? True, counsel. That too was unlawful. But I, cancel, but I want to bring yeah, one at notice to your attention. In the military, certainly up to that time, um, the soldiers, we in the military, and we are not conversant with the law. To deem it fitting that an arrest warrant must be needed for somebody even who was suspected to be committing an offense. So that was why I did not even think about that. Because already I was a suspect. That was why I was arrested. So I wouldn't ask for a, a, an arrest warrant. This is not about you asking for an arrest warrant. This is about uh, a procedure of law that was not respected. Mm -hmm. And you clearly said that in your case it was unlawful. 
equally in the case of the 1996 guys it was also unlawful council it might be only a legal minded person council as it came moment hakilo fanu ta lua la carola we know about all that procedure but once you gather information of a plan coup I don't think we will have that mind to say we need an arrest warrant for somebody suspected of planning a coup. General, General, do you agree that ignorance of the law is no excuse? General, is on the new Malika for Koma Long Lua La Carola Yam Fatewar. Then the law dictates that fine. But I was not aware of that. That's why I said that and, was what all those arrests made. Even my own arrest, there was no warrant so. The, the thing is, you accepted that your own arrest was unlawful because there was no warrant, didn't you? Yes, I accepted that my own arrest was unlawful because there was no warrant. Later, I came to know about that because through my lawyer. Already, I was arrested at the time. I am just trading on the same point. That equally, the arrest of those for the 2006 coup d'etat without warrant, that arrest too was unlawful. Council, I don't think I will need to dilate on that with you. Council, Just accept it. If the, deal, if the law dictates so, then let it be. But if it dictates so in your case, it therefore dictates so for their case. In whatever case, if that is what the law dictates, I accept, it be. Thank you very much. When you were taken to mile two, did they show mile two prisons any paper? Uh, uh, which ordered or authorized your detention or admission into the prison? Council, not to my knowledge. I just saw them writing my name in their diary. Council, Mambo Kalama. Those you ordered to be arrested in 2006. They were taken to mile two. Where are they not? Certainly they have said it here that they were taken there. Did you issue or obtain any paper? which authorized their admission into mile 2 fo ye kayto di la ba da fay fay kayto so la ba mem ba tan di la ko lu ay sembo di la pour ye samba kaso bung ba ba i've said it here that na fo janne ko that we were not conversant with the law on de lo tembo lu ala ko lu man ko yim as long as somebody is 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 arrested in respect of a coup and do ne mo mo ndi muta main to meta coup d'etat ko la well, we, um, you, 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 are, you are under investigation. So we did not see the need and for a paper. But however, the prison staffs, they certainly know that they cannot keep anybody without a warrant. And, and, and they never ask for that. Well, the prison staff, they have appeared here, and they said they were always under intimidation of the, of the, of the military boys who came there and brought people. That might be their own version, but when I was taken to mile two and detained eventually, no, no, nobody intimidated them. But by this time, obviously, that yours was not the first time they have come to get, in, to get used to uh, the soldiers just bringing in people and dumping them into the prison without any paper and they cannot do anything about it. Council, 
And so I will advise that you can, you can take the statement of the prison wardens who were here and they told you everything. That, that is exactly what I am giving you. This is the, the complaint that they made. They said they had no choice. Then let the, let the commission decide if they have no choice. Where they have no choice, and we also, like I said, we were not aware that we needed an arrest warrant or a detention warrant you know, at the prison. Imam Ferry do soto, wale yo sabu. Wuto bitu nsila nga anyanta kila wale nyamani telufanalu wutu mwokonga afunu nyami mang eh, kusahari ngulong lua nyi na ukarawula. Wouldn't it be shocking, General, that the government is not aware of its own rules, the rules that the government has put in place? Wuto, nyi nte kela niku ya kuwote bako, masakuda me mfango bekeri nu, ila sartuol tawa andri bulo, nyana bula la meno, oro, ito fango, imo sartuol, imo imole long. And so I can say that you are more legally minded than I, so you can make a decision on that. General, I am bringing out these points. 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 Are a result of a system. A way of doing things. A culture of violation of the law. And it is that same culture of violation of laws that produce egregious violations of the rights of another group. The 2006 group. So what we have it's a system of continuous violations of the rights of people who come within the system. So, General, this is not about you. What I am doing is exposing that unlawful system. So that that unlawful system could be changed. Such so that what happened to you and what happened to those people of the 2006 alleged coup would not happen again. This is the reason for this exercise. We bring out the violations. So let's move on. Where are you taken before a judge? And so we were in mile two. And so we mile two. Or close to, if my memory serves me right, close to three weeks. Without appearing before a judge. Are you aware that that is unlawful? Certainly, like I said, I was still conversant with the law. I didn't even know how many weeks or days or months it takes for a detained person to appear before the law. That was not part of our job. That was why we are not conversant with such. Well, you worked on a panel in which people were detained and in custody. Didn't you think it was important that you were familiarized yourself with at least the basic law that governed what you were tasked to do? Council in this country, the military has its role. The police has its role.
police only function role has its role and it is very obvious that and it is very obvious that and when you say that when it comes to the application of the law ning anata lua tamando la kawo police is entirely responsible police la do kolo wot so hence there were police senior police officers even the igp no boy the police nyato kolo bi je katabula police all found la nyato certainly i would have expected them to advise us on the side of the law wot on jikita num koy tele nyantan to ya mar la lua la karo so on this occasion the system failed you. It is now that I'm realizing that. What the system failed you. That's what I mean. It's now that I'm realizing that. I didn't know that there was a period that I needed to, to be detained or appear before a, law, a, a lawyer. But what is interesting is that so you accept your right to be presented before a lawyer, before a judge within 72 hours were violated. Certainly, afterwards, I was able to know that. Equally, for those of 2006, the right to be presented before a judge or a magistrate within the 72-hour period was violated. And in 2006, Certainly, if my rights were violated, certainly theirs too was violated. But, but like I said, <coughs> hence we were not conversant with the law. There was no way we could apply. We could have applied that. Uh, we know you have said that. We don't have to repeat it with regards to every violation. We take it that you have said that. All I'm trying to do is to show that we had a system of violating the law of this country. That is what I'm trying to do now. You are so, not, uh, so that is why this, this commission is formed. So if we are able to detect that, I think that is a plus for the commission. Uh, thank you very much. So let's go through the process of identifying these things. Uh, you are not given a lawyer. Right. No, counsel, I wasn't given a lawyer. That too was a violation of your rights. It was late I came to know of that. Well, uh, we had Bunja Dabo, his testimony. He said he asked for a lawyer. When you were sitting there in the panel, he was denied a lawyer. That was unlawful. And so I will say Bunja didn't speak the truth. Anybody who was taken before a panel accused of a coup do not have the mind to request for a lawyer. Bunja said so. That is not true. Otherwise, I would, if, if I'm telling you what, what our perception was, your, your mind will not go to thinking to get a lawyer. Well, uh, general, he says his mind went to that. General, and he asked. And so you might have the opportunity to invite some of the panelists. And you can put that question to them. But what I've told you is, is none of the arrested persons requested for a legal representation. But general, you know, general, this is not a matter of knowledge of the law. General, Everybody, I mean, this is, this, is, this is very, very basic. You know that if a person is arrested, the person is entitled to a lawyer. 
It behoves, it behoves the state to give the person the opportunity to have a lawyer. That is very basic. Is that not true? Council, that is not true. These people seated here. Ask them how many of you of them knows that you when you are detained you need the service of a lawyer. Well, well, General, I said more than I show you that this is very basic. This is people. It is people basic. Know this. You know it because you are legally minded. <laughs> but somebody who is not legally minded may not know, as like you. But, but, but General, we are not talking about the ordinary citizens. We are talking about the state. That group that sat there, it represented the state. Mantera banku mo la kumu foka mbe banko masala ko la foka mo mbe besirinja wola mansati. The group that sat sat there is, in fact, the entire law and and security enforcement apparatus of the state. Mo mbe besiring panelo njindo je wole wole besiring tanko bunda mo la bunda la nyato ngolo wole besiring je tole be tanko bunda eje. That apparatus, unlike the ordinary citizen, the ordinary Joe who walks about the street, cannot plead ignorance of the law. The state cannot plead ignorance of the law. Well, maybe Sirinje, well, Ningi Banku didn't kill Kensan, Kensan will take Kumote Takinola Nola Kafuko, Malua, a Malong. That is the difference. Well, I'm Fatam Fansuri. Council, Council, the position you are sitting, you may see in Tembo Mentote, you are legally minded. The, 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 the panel you are talking about was composed of the military, the police, police, and other service personnel. I think probably you might visit the syllabus of the military training. And then you are yourself, you are yourself with the syllabus. It is not a rule. That every soldier is taught about the law. General, the problem is you, you are personalizing uh, the issues I'm raising. It's not about you. My suggestion is not that you, Langtombong Tamba, you did something. What I am saying is the failure of the state. To do what it is required and obliged under the law to do. It is bigger than you. This is all the entire law enforcement and security apparatus of the state sitting together. And it deliberately violated the rights of Gambian citizens. Like they have violated yours. This is what we are talking about. Council, I am seated here. Then ask me questions that will, con that will concern me. As a former serving member of the military. But, but that is what we are doing. What we are saying is you that sat there as CDS together with heads of the police, together with heads of the NIA, without any regard to the laws of this country. The whole of the country is that the police are the because what you're saying is you did not know that that is what the law required. But I am telling you that the state cannot plead ignorance of the law. Mansa can say that he didn't know the law. So who was Mansa in this context? Mansa Kunda was this institution that was put together. You represented Mansa Kunda. The panel represented Mansa Kunda. And so I think I've told you that.
the military so don't have that deep background as long as the law is concerned. I will suggest that some, some of the members who were in the panel who, who came from the police or the NIA might have the opportunity to visit this, this commission. Issues that touches on the law, and we put before them. I have clearly stated that, as in the military, we are not conversant with the law. So, therefore, I cannot talk on those questions you are asking. Unless those from the police or the NIA. They hear they can help on that. I understand the Tamsir Jase also asked for a lawyer. And do not inform for any court. Tamsir Jase, if any can endure, get a full lawyer and a member lawyer. And that was denied. And do not balance off for another. Let's move on. As well, I've said it here. So even if Tamsir says that, I've already given a response to that. And, and uh, General, uh, and, uh, did he General, mention that in his statement? Because it's very important that he mentions in his statement that he requested for a legal representation. And he wasn't General, given. General, General. So I'm trying to raise an issue, you know, so that the commission can take note of that. If he says that he requested. Uh, General, uh, the evidence that I bring before this commission should not be based on the statement of one single witness. Okay. I base my everything on the, on the uh, body of evidence that is in our possession. So, what we do is we put out the issues to the person and give the witness the opportunity to respond to If you cannot remember that that happened, or you do not accept that it happened, or you agree that it happened, just tell us. And what we are trying to do here is that we, this country has laws. And we want to be a country ruled by the law. And not a country that is just ruled by men doing whatever they want. Uh, this is why I am bringing these things out. I am showing that the system that was in place violated the rights of people. Including your own rights. Much as it is reassuring for you to sit there and accept that your rights were violated, it would be equally the same for other people whose, whose the right, violation of whose rights would be acknowledged here. So that is what we are trying to do. So it is not necessarily to, to put responsibility on your shoulders. That is not what we are trying to do. I am trying to expose a system of rights violations. No matter how basic those rights are. That is what we are trying to do. So, and in so doing, I want to show that the state cannot plead ignorance of the law. Okay, so let's proceed. And so, if you say the state cannot plead the ignorance of the law, 
Council Nico Mansate Afono la Koyetelo Malualo. Like I said, that is why this commission is here. Those wrongs can be put to, to the state. But it's, not, it's not for me you know, to put that to the state. In fact, that was why I told you. At that time, I never knew. Now that I heard it from you, but why is I because I was not legally minded. Yes, so I know that the state has failed in that area. Uh, thank, you, th thank you very much. I, no think, I think the the issue could have been over long since if you had just acknowledged that, well, you know that the state has failed in that area, and then we proceed. Council, this is not a law of court. This is an inquiry. Council, Remember, we cannot all the time be having answers of yes or no. Where I'm sitting, I'm sitting allowed to, to dilate further. Instead of yes or no. But General, definitely, you cannot say that you have not been given the opportunity to answer questions. General, but you have been given ample opportunity. Some questions, some questions just require yes or no. And it's simple, and you so you'll agree with me, those that require yes or no, I've been saying that. Okay. Sitting on this chair, those that I feel need further explanation, I do that too. Thank you. Good. Uh, you, you told the you and there was an instance what, in, what in where you were to be tortured. For you were not tortured. But you had to go back and pretend that you were tortured. That is what you said earlier. Council, it happened one, one night. After midnight. That I was removed from my cells in the Mile 2 presence. And I was taken away by junglers, people dressed in that jungler uniform. I was taken towards the bone road in those swamps. I was made to alight from the car. I was led into the mangrove swamps. And was asked to sit on the floor. Then um, somebody dressed in that jungle uniform placed the gun on, on my head. But um, I didn't say anything. He asked me of my involvement in the coup. I stood by my, my initial statement. There was, there was no plan coup. And I was not in, involved in any coup that was planned. Because there were threats. That if I don't speak the truth, the, the, the bullet will be released on my head. But my response was. Yes, I'm ready for that. That I would prefer to die than to tell lies of a coup that never happened. It's happened that there was one soldier who was not dressed in, 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 in jungle uniform, uniform doom. whom I recognize. I could hear him shouting at this particular jungler stop, stop what you're doing. He walked to where we were. And of course, that was how I was able to recognize him. He was Sehu Jalo. Who so was an oddly at the state house when I was there? So he's a soldier I know. He shouted at the the jungler. Then to stop. That he shouted at the jungler. At the jungler. That to stop that. And then I was told to get up. 
led to the car where the car was parked on the highway. In Samba Mototo Abeluri Ndami Silabakang. There I met Bobaji. No Bobaji Tarajele. The whole Bobaji also was brought in there through a different vehicle. Yara Bobaji Fanan Nati Jele Bariate Nati Motodole la. And at that time. And I could recognize one of the junglers. Modo Fanan Bije Jongla Solo Konoga Men Sute. No Abaji. No Abaji. Then we are told to board the vehicles. Each of us boarded the vehicle that brought us. Um, but I could hear them communicating with somebody. And I could hear them informing that they were heading to the NIA headquarters. So from the Bond Road, Bond Road, we are driven to the NIA headquarters. On arrival, suddenly we met... Um, uh, Bojang, uh, what's his name? Solo Bojang. Solo Bojang he was waiting outside. Of course, he exchanged you know, words with them, which I didn't hear. And then what happened was, um, Solo instructed that that they should lead us to the conference room upstairs. And of course, I was the first to be led. And of course, what Solo told them was for us to be tortured. But like I said earlier, those junglers, they knew that our allegation of a Plan coup was, was false. So even if they are given instruction to torture us, they, would, they wouldn't do. The reason they took us upstairs that night was to be tortured. When we reached the conference hall, I was the first to be taken before Bobaji. Um, what they did was they had, of course, some, some sticks or buttons, I'm not sure. They, they started hitting the tables. They said they will hit the tables. So that if, if Solo Bojang hears that, he will feel that we have been tortured. That was what they do. And before we left, the, those junglers advised us that when we are coming down the stairs, we should be limping as if we suffered that torture. And of course, they don't want Solo to notice that we were walking normal, meaning that nothing was done to us. So certainly we complied. When we were getting down the stairs, walking towards our vehicle, we were limping. And certainly when we reached, uh, the mile, after they took us back to the mile two prisons, that was the same impression we saw there. As if, as if we were tortured. That was why the, in the cell number one where I stayed, cell number one, all that I pretended that we were being tortured. So my colleagues there, I had certain um, file before this commission, that I, that I was being tortured seriously. It was as a result of this. I also had the prison officers um, say that I was tortured to the extent that I couldn't walk. I want to set on records to hear that they might have made a mistake. That wasn't me. There was no particular time that I was tortured that I could not walk. I had their testimony right away that it was a mistake from them. So we were brought back to the prison. So there we stayed. I even pretended I'm um, getting some treatment such as massage. But in real sense, I was never tortured. Uh, quite an interesting story. This whole thing was to convince Solo Bojang 
that you were tortured. Ko yede libale. Certain, certainly, because otherwise, so, nyala, kato, nyonte, he'll be mad with the junglers. Uh, be kamfala, jungler, so, look, that he gave them instructions, so, I, kango, dila, and they didn't carry them out. Man, na, so, wa, kango, it was the junglers themselves who advised us kato, jungler, so, look, fangu, men, yente, liyamari, to adapt that working style. Kuru, nga, tama, wa, nyama, kajuma. When you left Mile 2, Pira, when you bada, left the NIA, Pira, bada, NIA and arrived at Mile 2, Solo Bojang was convinced that you were tortured, correct? Solo Bojang was not at mile two. No, no, no. I'm it was saying. was at the NIA downstairs. Yes. So you left NIA, adopting a posture of people who were already tortured, correct? That is correct. At that stage, did Solo appear convinced that you were tortured? That is what I want to believe. Left a because he never asked them again. To he just to told so, them to so, put us in the car and take us finish, back. Let me finish. Let me finish. So up to the time you arrived at Mile Two, your mission of bamboozling Solo was accomplished. You don't forget our men and Mile Two. Certainly, that was why um, even the, some of our inmates they thought that we were tortured. But, 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 but let me ask my question. What I can't understand is having achieved that objective during Alio Ferro Timandi with Solo Bojan, Solo Bojan na Carola. Why was it necessary? Munana anataka ko aketanyinti to carry on that posture at the end at the mile two prison. Bukupuru ka wamanya kilimu falanke mile two kasola. To the extent of going for medical checks and all that, when you know that uh, nothing had happened to you. Hanu for kataja raro njining we wobe dum alia long kukumangala. Why was it necessary? Munana wanyanta. Council, I never mentioned that I went for a medical checkup. Ma for the contact jara role I never said so. Yes, you did. Uh, that you I went for a medical checkup after that uh, alleged torture. Yes, you did. You told us yeah. Yeah. If I did so, then it's, it's, a, it's, it's an error from me. We you never went for a medical checkup. Probably you can recall my 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 my, my statement. I cannot remember yes. saying. Yes. I cannot remember yes. saying. Yes, you said you asked. For medical uh, checkup, you did say so. You did say so. You did say so. I cannot remember that part. All right, but it, it, it really wouldn't matter if you are saying that uh, that did not happen. So proceed. proceed. So that did not happen. So we are at the mile two. The mile two. And one day, Dunkling. I was picked, removed from my cell. This, late, this was late at night too. It's with Modugay. Two of us were taken to the NIA with the purpose of to torture us. But, but the same um, train followed. The junglers briefed us that they will not touch us. And they advised that that they'll be hitting the table, the table as usual. So that, because Solo was downstairs that day too. So, so, so that Solo will feel that we have been tortured. And that General, was what they did. General Mudugay in his statement has confirmed that. <coughs> Uh, but can you read Modugay's statement again? No, I could remember Modugay saying that there was a day he was tortured. Yes. But another day he was taken with me. Yes. We were not tortured. Yes. If you bring the Quran, I can swear we were never tortured but that day. I am telling you that Modugay confirmed exactly what you have said. Okay. But like you have said, okay. On other days, he was tortured. Those days, I didn't go along with him. So I cannot speak on that. I've said here that one day I was taken there with Bobaji from the Bond Road area. 
the same thing happened they were hitting the tables those, those junglers they knew that the allegation against us was false that was why they were not cooperating with them to talk to us thank you thank you very much general you would agree that the system in place had an arrangement to have you tortured. True or false? And so certainly that was why we are taking to the to the um, bond road area. You could, just say, yes. yes. or you you could bond road. just say no. And I think I have confirmed that already. And and that the purpose was to um, kill us that day even. But it was through, through um, Sehujalo's intervention that it was averted. Exactly. And of so, course, we so, were brought, so. I said that again, we were brought to the NIA with the NIA. sole purpose of torturing us. I think I have answered that. General, you have said all that. General, you will be for that. So if I ask you the simple question that the system was organized in a way that you were to be tortured, you could simply say yes. We do not repeat everything else that you have said before. Please cooperate with me in that way so we can make progress. Council, I fully cooperated with you. Okay, now let, but now I am let, aware. I am aware that this is not a court proceeding. This is an investigation. I know in a court procedure, most of the answers have to be yes or no. But in such a situation, I have to give an explanation so that the commissioners can have a detailed aspect. General, General, if you want to play it that way, by all means, indulge yourself. It does not help anybody. It's just a pure waste of our time, and it's not necessary. But I would indulge you because I want you to be satisfied that you have said what you want to say. But in the process, you will realize the futility of this approach, but let's go ahead. The system was designed in a way that you were to be tortured. You were sent to Bone Road. You were sent to, uh, to, to the NIA to be tortured. Is that true or that is false? I think that is what I already explained, Council. It is true. Council, I have given a detailed explanation of what happened. Council, Mostly, the, the reason why they took us there so, is to torture us. So, so it's obvious. So, so why are you therefore unable to accept that the system was designed for you to go and be tortured. Why Council, are you having a problem accepting that? Council, I believe that it's for you to draw conclusions from what I have said. Uh, General, we are me. asking you, we are asking you from what you experienced, the system that was in place was included to take you to places and have you tortured. And it, it, this is just a system in place or not, I was taken to be tortured. Thank you very much. That was what I said. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And that system in place came from people who worked at State House, correct? Then it was coordinated by, by um, Solo Boja. Solo Boja and the State House. And these were people who took their instructions from Yaya Jame. That's what you said before. Yes. True or false? Yes. yes, before I said that. Ah, no, for you. Perfect. And it is this same system that obtained in 2006. The same group of people, not necessarily the same individuals, but this same unit was the, uh, was the unit that was responsible for taking people out of mile two, people who were accused of treason, and torturing them at the NIA. And it's the same system.
I will take that to be a yes, Mr. Chair. No, Jabi Rodala, Mr. Chair. I already Chair. responded oh. to that. No, I Jabi already responded to that. General, I think that, I, that's it. Suffice it to say. General, my difficulty is you. Uh, what is your problem for accepting a fact? I don't want to exaggerate. If you take it as a fact, it's a fact on your side. So you take what you get from so me. Are I've you said it. I, you see, you are ready to accept that it was the system that did you in in 2009, but you're not prepared to accept that it is the same system that did others in in 2006. If they say so, they said it before you, and you are no, the, the I legal, am asking you. You had from the orders you had from me. General, to, to you were concern. at the center. I can you, speak for my own. You were at the center of both events. Okay. So, so the system that sent you to be tortured is the same system that sent Wasa Kamara to be tortured, that sent MC Cham to be tortured, that sent uh, uh, Yaya Dabo to be tortured, that sent Bunja Dabo to be tortured, that sent, uh, 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 what's his name again, Kambai to be tortured, that sent Demba Dem to be tortured, that sent Mariam Dentin to be tortured. If you can accept it for you, yes, well, if those you are your accept it for the others. If those are your conclusions, fine. No. no, we are asking you who was at the center of both events. I, did mention, I think I did mention to the commission the roles that Solo played. It was Solo I've been seen all along, coordinating. Well, in the other one, it was Tumbul Tamba and Musa Jame you were seeing all the time. Who the Tumbul Tamba and Musa Jame are Being at the panel. Yes, I've said that. I've said that. Well, if you want to take us backwards, then we go back till yeah. tomorrow. No, 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 I've no. said General. that Musa Jame and Tumbu, they were present in the panel, General. and I've said that uh, um, tortures were never conducted in the in the conference room. Well, I've said that. When so you, I stand by that. When you were taken to be tortured, was it at the conference room at the panel? It wasn't. Exactly. So, so if we so, talk about so, Tumul and, so, and Musa, I wouldn't, con I d I wouldn't con I'm, I'm, I'm general, say anything on that. General, I wasn't there. General, you seem to be avoiding. Avoiding what? Accepting that there was a system in place in this country, a system of brutalizing its citizens to, con to, to, to compel them to accept false allegations, As to so accept allegations, be they, be they false or true. That was the system. Accept Council, that, that the system your... that, that to which you were sent to torture you mm. is the same system that obtained in 2006. Very good. If those are your assassins, you can put them in your conclusions and help the, no, the We are asking you, are you denying it? I have said all what I know. And are I you denying it? About the system, I don't know anything about the system. I've said all what I know. If you suggest so, then help the commission. You can say so. So you deny it? Council, take my words. What I said, take that. If that doesn't suit you, just take that. Unless, like I said, what I am, we what are I am saying to you, General. Are we in a trial court? Uh, no, you are in an investigation. Fine. So investigation, mission. I have said what I know. Uh, and a fact-finding mission is also what courts do. But, I, but, but, but the issue here, General, is the issue is. Can we allow the interpreters to move on as well? People outside want to know. They want to hear what's going on. <laughs> it's not to buy time. But anyway, interpreters come in and interpret that. What I am saying is, let's help the interpreters. Come in for what I'm Is there was a system which in 2009 2009 sought to have you tortured with a view to obtaining confessions from you. And that was unlawful. Equally, it is that same system that operated in 2006. Wherein, in all those people who were sent before the panel were also tortured with a view to obtaining confessions from them. This was the system that operated 
kwa nyimbe lari ni wele nyama kakewele nyama no menka tama. And that system was unlawful. And wo tama ndiri bulo nyimu tama ndiri bulo demyano kwa manyang. Do you agree or do you disagree? Isonda wala leba mfo iman song. Council, you can use your own word as a system. Council isi fansung kumaka utano. But I have narrated my experience, what I went through. So you can draw your conclusions whether it was a system or, or whatsoever you call it. Okay, let me, let me change the question. Okay. What happened in 2009 was strikingly similar with what happened in 2006. You agree? Council, if, if those are your conclusions, that's fine. Uh, General, this is such a hot potato. <laughs> that is what you call it. I know that the 2000 you, you would accept. Here. You would they spoke to you. They, they face this Just commission. Hear Just hear me out. Your colleague Bo Baji was tortured. He said that before the commission. Bo Baji ya tajire ya ya lipala ya fanyi commission ya tino na jabe siri diamondo. Modu Gayi said he was tortured. Modu Gayi fanam ko ya lipala ya. Those are the people who appeared so far from from your group. I have a statement from Gorseka. He said he was tortured. You are one of the lucky few. Because of your personal relations with the torturers. Isn't that the truth? Chairman, yeah, I have an objection. I believe if those people sit here and make those statements, let, let him take it from them. If I sit here and make a statement, let him take it from me. It is not for me to decide whether those people, what they said is true or wrong. But I am saying what I know, that I was in torture. And that is the truth, and nothing but the truth. General. Why is council insisting on that bringing comparison those that were tortured by Badi and the others? Uh, uh, and that I was not tortured to make a comparison. So if you don't want to take my assertion, then why am I here? Why am I called here? And I know that this is not a court of law. It's an investigation. So why is it that council is not ready to take what I say? He wants me to, to, to blame a particular person or system or whatsoever. That is not why I am here. I'm here to speak of what I know. At the end of the day, it is this commission that will make a recommendation and a ruling. You would have heard from what Bo and the others said. You would have heard what I said. Then you can read between the lines and make your conclusion. But, but for counsel to insist, for me to say, a particular issue or to accept, I don't think that is why I am here. Thank you. Um, uh, the commission is heard, the view is expressed. We are going to make our conclusions. Can we proceed, Emma, please? Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Chair. Mr. Um, perhaps. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll just move on to another point. Um, uh, a report was produced <laughs> of the investigations. And let me read out. Ah, okay. Thank you.
Before you just get to that, what's the report um, uh, that uh, you were referring to, and uh, uh, who are the authors, or who is the author? Yes, I would, I would uh, come to that. Please. Yes. Uh, sorry, General. Uh, okay, Councillor. Uh, uh, I, I just want us to understand each other. What I'm trying to do is to try to draw parallels. Between, between 2006 and 2009. Well, 2006 and 2009. Right? And uh, we have to be honest enough <laughs> and accept the violations of the law whether we knew that they were violations or not. And the whole reason for this is we have a responsibility to show a systemic violation of the laws so that these things can be corrected in the future. That is the whole purpose. We do not have any other ulterior motive other than that. Uh, General, we are examining the violations of your rights. General, That is our obligation. But equally, it is our obligation to investigate the violations of the rights of the others. And I am trying to show that what is good for the goose in this case is also good for the Ganda. Just like your rights were violated, it was the same approach and the same system that violated the rights of others. This is what we're trying to do. And fairness and honesty would dictate calling a spade a spade. What was done to you that was wrong and done to some other person would equally be wrong. This is what we are trying to show. Council, certainly I agree with you. Calling a spade a spade. But when a spade is not seen, how could that person call it a spade? When the person sees a spade, He'll call it a spade. So whatever I say here, I've said it is not a trial court. Take that from me. General. I've wrote a statement. So whatever I say here, even in a trial court, the evidence is adduced by whoever. It certainly has, has to be taken by the judge. And he makes a decision on those at the end of the day. I, 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 I stand by whatever I say here. And I stand by whatever comes out of it. Because I know it is only the truth. That I know is what I'm saying. Okay, General, thank you very much. Uh, and it's, it's only the truth that we're seeking for. No, nothing else. Uh, the torture of your colleagues in 2009 by that group from State House at the NIA was unlawful, just like the torture of the 2006 crew by the people from State House at the NIA was unlawful. Well, fortunately, according to you, you were spared. Uh, just like uh, uh, Ja was spared. 
So the system had a way of shielding some people and brutalizing the others. I will move on. That's all I disagree with you, with you that assassin. To say that the system has other people that it favors and brutalizing the others. Those that conduct this whatsoever you call um, 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 brutalizing witnesses, it, is, it doesn't follow that all the time it was the same people that comes. Probably the people who got me out that day might be different from those that got other people those days. As, and as human beings, we have different reactions. Others can be good. Others can be bad. But if I tell you that, I was never tortured. Take that from me. I don't think that should be an issue. The comparison of those who were tortured and those who were not tortured. You have the facts before you. Evidence that was adduced by other witnesses. Now you take those two evidence, mine and theirs, and then present it before the commission. But I will not sit here and lie that I was tortured. When in actual sense I wasn't. But, but you are fixated on this question about your own torture. I never said anything like that. I never suggested that you were tortured. Then you let's said move on. you were not tortured, I accepted it. Then let's move on. Uh, and indeed we are on. We are on to other things. I have lots of statements here which say you were tortured. I never confronted you with can, anything. Can they be more rightful than me? But General, I never confronted you with any no, single one of no, them. No, no, you said many statements that suggest that I was tortured. Yes, I do. I have it here. But yes. I never brought them out to but you. But which one is more reliable? Can we um, uh, continue uh, to the next point that we want to do? Council, can you answer my question yeah. on the origin of um, the report, the source of the report? Yes. Who the authors are placed yes, and, yes. and the date? Yes, Jen. yes, yes, but Mr. Let's Chair. continue, um, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, the exchange. Uh, and and general, exchange it now. Be, be assured that this is your own victimization. Yeah, yeah. If we you said continue. you are not tortured. We are moving on. We are not if touching is, that. If it is my own victimization, I have said it here, what I went through. Take that from me. Disregard what you were told by another person. I faced it. I was the one who faced yeah. it. If Can you don't want on? to take it from Can me. Can we go on, please? Uh, that is it. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. But let okay. the record also show that we have not confronted you with anything showing that you were tortured. We did not do that. The statements that you were uh, saying that you have evidence there. So okay. that, is, that is something that so you Mr. have Chair, confronted me with. Mr. Chair, I have this report on the alleged coup plot. Mr. Chair, I have this report on the alleged coup plot. Uh, General, I will send it to you to take a look at. General, I will send the report to you to take a look at. Uh, we prepared the, um, the report. The and report there was, a was date. prepared by the panel of investigators at the NIA. Report on the mayor Dada, while the panel of members were going to discuss and discuss the NIA. Date. It was January 22nd, 2009. January 22nd, 2009. The members of the panel are listed. Members of the panel are listed. Members of the panel Members of the panel are listed. 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 Members of the it's the staple, it's, it's come off, so we would attach it again. Uh, and the report was not signed by any member of the panel. The report on you bring us a very far part of the panel members will you panel on member on you in one report on you must sign. So the top page is also about to come off. I think the date of the report may be wrong. You see the typical mistake at the end of at the beginning of the new year, people always forget uh, <laughs> to change uh, to the to the next to the to, to, to the actual new year. You know they always refer to the previous year. Uh, the, the, the events being investigated were November 27, 2009, but the report is dated 22nd January 2009. I want to believe they meant 2010. 
So I would send the report to, to General to make a quick browse through. Report to the General for the report on the UBA. Just so that in the meantime, could... Council, would you still recommend, with all the gaps and uh, the holes that you mentioned in it, that uh, it be uh, admitted? Uh, we, would, we wouldn't admit it now. We would admit it when the NIA bosses come. Okay, fine. Uh, the reason why I am bringing this report mm -hmm. is, report is general the conclusion of that report recommended that you be charged for treason in that you were organizing a coup d'etat and that you had taken steps. General, Larry Lomé has been report on Nariga Wallen Yindiko, report on Yina Kumfad Lato, Yemeni Tandi Wallen Yindiko, Ite, the Tumiro Lale, and the Wallen Yindiko, Tumiro, the Tumiro Melale, Wallen Yindik, treason, Wallen Jamfa Jao, the Ibola Lale Kang. Do you agree with the contents of that report, with the conclusion of that report that I have just summarized? You could look at it at the last page. Report on Yina Kumfad Lato, Makan, Jube, and Kumakan, and the Katrin Jay, Jube, for report on Yin, I mean, fully for Isan Taliban. And of course, uh, you pleaded not guilty to this charges that emanated from this report. And the report on the member gave on Tumiro, the Mel Lake, and the Koimans on Tumiro Nina. So I take it that your answer would be that you do not agree to the findings or recommendations of this report. But on Batala, the Kony report on Yinga, Menge, Karvi, Kisikis Ronyinga, Menkumfaje, Wolemi, the Kotumi, Tumiro, and Iman Song, I told you, Menge. The conclusions would be on the second to last page. Yes. Thank you, Council. I've gone through the report. report on and, and I deny that this is not, this report is not, report. is not correct. Which they suggested that I was part of a group that planned a coup. So I disagree with this report. Thank you, General. Thank you, General. Uh, could you briefly just tell this commission what happened that culminated to you being charged with treason? Why do you, or, or how did you come to be charged with treason? Council, Council, I've talked about our arrest. In respect of this alleged coup, it happened that two Young boys, small boys for that matter, accused us of planning a coup. These were those named as Ibrahim Asanyang and Rui Jabi Gasama. Or Rui Jabi Kujabi whatsoever. Following that allegation, we got arrested, investigated. But it happened that all of us denied the allegation. But that notwithstanding, it happened one day that um, before we were charged FN, I still remember it was on a Monday that um, um, Abdullah Juf and Brigadier General Omar Bunbai Brigadier General Omar Mumbai, Aniwo, where we tossed at the mile two prisons, we are removed from the prisons and taken away. Yes, Amba. And what we had later was they were released. And we further had that on a Wednesday, some others will be released. And on a Friday, the last group that includes myself will be released. But the following day, Tuesday, we saw Abdullah Juf and General Omar Mumbai being returned back to the prison. 
Later we came to understand that there was a big concern from the panel members because they felt that once we were released certainly the president will turn around and have them arrested. But something led to this release. The, the president at the time, President, Otembo, president, Yahya Jame, president Yahya Jame, got confused with the briefings he was getting from the panel at the NIA. Because he kept receiving different statements to the extent that he assigned one sehu jalo that he must come to the panel and get the real facts and sehu jalo came to the panel i recall i was taken before the panel and confronted with one of the, the witnesses and Ibrahim Ibrahim when I narrated my what I knew about the coup and that Ibrahim was given the chance to also explain and Ibrahim started explaining first things that were never mentioned earlier but before he could proceed further, the panel has to call off the confrontation. But all that time, say who was there, say who Jalo was there taking notes. And it was one boy called JT Kujabi. This JT Kujabi was not working for the NIA. He was not a security officer. But he was, he was in the panel that day. Knowing that this um, Ibrahim Asanya was trying to reveal the facts, which will lead to Sehu getting the real true story of the allegations. And then knowing that if Sehu unraveled the truth, I mean the panel knowing that. And if he presents those facts to the president, certainly the president will release us. And at that time, if you give a lie to the president, and he comes to realize the truth, you, the liar, becomes the victim. So when they knew about that, what they did was, they, in fact, that was how Sehu went to the president and gave him the true story of this allegation. And the following day, Monday, that was what led to the release of Lai Juf, Abdul Lai Juf and Omar Bunbai. And a plan was in place so that on a Wednesday, a team will be released. And Friday, I along orders will be the last to be released. But those people who allege us, who fabricated this evidence, when they heard about the release of Abdullah Juf and Omar Bunbai, knowing that the next move is they will be arrested for, for telling lies against the president. They went and used the DPP, the Director of Public Prosecution, to justify their arrest. Well, if you allow me to interrupt you here, I, I, I hate doing that, but allow me to do so. Who is this person or this group of people that sought to have you incriminated? That have come to realize that this initial allegation is going to fail and they went to the DPP. Council, following our arrest, Certainly, we were able to gather some information. These two 
boys that are mentioned that alleged us. We have made to understand the earlier on alleged the former IGP Usman Song He was the first to be alleged. But until he was invited to the NIA, and then all of a sudden things twisted the other way around. So for us, we believe that he was part of those because he was part of the panelists that investigated us. And we were of the opinion that him knowing those small boys being liars would have adequately briefed the president about, about the ordeal he had with them. These small boys, in fact, they, 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 whether I'll say they fooled or they tricked, even the chief of defense staff of the armed forces at the time, who was Masane Kinte. He said Ibrahim Asanyang was able to impersonate and told the and made a call to the CDS at the time Masane that he was sent to Farafenya Barracks by the president. In fact, the CDS at that time, Masane Kinte, was called to, to our court yeah, in the Bundala. as a witness. And he confirmed that. This Rui went to the Farafenya Barracks and he was able to trick the soldiers there. And the soldiers the commanding officer for that matter, that he was on the mission of the president. General, let me ask you a question. General, All this information came out in the trial, didn't it? Came out, cancel. Was, was this small boy arrested? After our sentencing, these two small boys, they got arrested and, and they were detained in Janjambure prison. Janjambure so they stayed in the prison all that while. We were pardoned by the president. All that time they were in the prison in Janjambure until when the new government of President Baro came in. They were the ones who released them. But you would agree with me that the system that was used to put Esa Baji in trouble is the same system that was used to put you in trouble. Correct. Council, when you say system, what system are you talking about? Call it approach. Call it same group of people. Call it similar type of accusation. Would you agree? What I would agree to is a group of people certainly wanted to see us in trouble and they alleged us of plotting a coup which they carried to the president. Because sooner or later the president was briefed on the facts by Sehu Jal, I've said it here. Certainly the president you know, started releasing our team. And if those same people go around using the DPP, or the DPP who had the investigation file, Suggest to the president that this was a coup in the making. It was real. What the president could do at that time was to have us rearrested. And that was what happened. Because we all know the, what the DPP means in terms of being an advisor to the president in legal issues. Uh, General, um, 
Let's come to the accusation against you with regards to the 2006 coup. Six. 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 Council, I'm ready. Please. Okay. Um, for the 2006 mile, the allegation against me. 2006, I'm to when we were detained in prison following the allegation for the 2009 coup plot, mm -hmm. for the arrival there, it was when we came to know that another plot was being set up against us. That is, those that were involved in the 2006 coup, subsequently arrested and sentenced by, by a court martial, they were aggrieved. At that time, there was one man called Kevaringo Bojang. Kevaringo Bojang comes from Kanilai. We are made to understand that he was detained by the president in the prisons. So knowing that he was from Kanilai and the president comes from Kanilai, this Kebaringo Boyang was used by those sentenced in the 2006 coup, particularly Modu Aliuba, Emeba. Because when we were there, we are made to understand that this Modu Aliuba, Modu Aliuba was the one taking care of this Kebarigo Bojang. In, in, in terms of helping him you know, acquire good food and other financial support. So the arrangement they did was they knew that Kebarigo Bojang would be released soon. They put to him that when he is released, let him talk to the president about them, that they are sorry, and that, and that there are other people who are part of the coup. The reason being that they wanted to, the president to be angry in hearing that news from them. And those people they alleged to be part of the coup was my own self. The other people were um, Commodore Sajo Fofana. Wali Nyang, Captain Wali Nyang. Captain Wali Nyang. Navy, Navy, Navy Lieutenant Silla Kujabi. Navy Bakono Sojari Lieutenant Tome Kafai Silla Kujabi. Falin Jabang. Fali Jabang. And I cannot remember the names of the other people. So when um, when he reported, when um, um, Kebarimo was released, presented those plans to the president. So at, the pres at the time, the president didn't know that was it was a plan. So he succeeded, Kebarino succeeded in having Modu Aliuba released from prison. Um, um, he, was, he had a presidential pardon. So when he was pardoned, he, had, he benefited from all his um, um, salaries that were in areas. He, he was reinstated back into the army and, and he was promoted. So now he was the one to take up that plan of convincing the president that those coupies of 2006 who were sentenced were sorry for what happened. So they want to seek for his apology. And he was to tell the president that myself and those people I mentioned, we were part of the coup. And in doing so, they had hope 
that the president will release them, the other 2006 groupies who were sentenced in mile two. So that was how they filtered the information to, to the NIA that touches on our involvement. And eventually, Sajo Navy uh, um, Captain Sajo Fofana got arrested. He was the chairman of the court master. So all those officers who served in the panel, in the court master panel, that sentenced them, were either arrested, detained, or dismissed from the service. And then that was um, Fofana, Sajo Fofana was in mile two. Captain Walinyang was also detained in mile two. Captain Walinyang Fana Yanat in mile two. But others were allowed release, they were dismissed and, and released to go home. So some of them, some of these um, 2006 groupies, whilst we were in mile two with them, we have been taken in and out. Bunjadabo was among them. Bunjadabo beolekono. Was a camera was among them. Was a camera beolekono. Um, Dabo, Captain Dabo. Captain Dabo was, was among them. Uh, allow me, General, to just interrupt. Uh, why were they being taken out and in? What do you mean by that? Explain. They were taken to the Justice Ministry and also to the NIA, where they started writing statements to implicate us. It was Bunja Dabo and Emeba who wrote statements to implicate me that I was part of the coup. Bunja Dabo stating that Ndurcham informed him that I was part of the coup. Emeba also stated that it, when he knew about the coup, he informed my oddly, and my oddly informed me. And Wasa also wrote a statement against Silla Kujabi. So all those, like I said, all those who were part of their court martial panel were implicated and statements written by them. So when they succeeded in that, and Emeba was released, before we were taken to a court, Emeba did not do what they, what, what they, what they agreed which was to make so that he helped them so that they will also be released. So when our day of trial came, of course me and Sajo Fofana were the ones charged. During our trial, the, some of them were called as witnesses. In my own case, it was Modu Aliuba who was already outside. And Bunja Davo <coughs> were to testify against me to state, to state my involvement in the coup. And for Sajo Fofana, at that moment, it was. Um, um, Captain Dabo. He, he appeared before this commission. Who, who? Yeah, yeah, Dabo, you mean? Yeah, yeah, Dabo, correct. Yeah, yeah, Dabo. Yeah, yeah, Dabo made a statement yeah, yeah, Dabo, alleging the involvement of Sajo Fofana. So on the day of the court, myself and Sajo Fofana were taken to the courts. At the Sajo Fofana ye samba kitola. Yeah, yeah, Dabo and Bunja also came, were brought to the court to be test, to testify as witness and Emeba. When the matter was called, Bunja, Bunja was to, 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 to be in the dock Bunja keso okono. to give his witness statement. Kala he refused. Abalanta. He said he will not get in the dock. Akata keso okono. 
There was a lot of push and pull, but he insisted that he will not, saying that he did not make any statement against anybody. General, he said that um, he will not swear on the oath yes, and take the never. witness box. And, and the question was uh, whether for an unsworn witness who does not fall within the exceptions of the law, like a child or a person who cannot understand the nature or consequence of an oath. How could the person testify without that? But, uh, proceed, uh, but then, uh, General, just a minute. Uh, I stand guided by you, Mr. Chair. It's 3 o'clock. We haven't taken the lunch break. Uh, how do you want us to proceed? I was expecting that uh, the general would finish before the lunch break, but it looks very unlikely. So how do we proceed? We are hungry to hear the end of this, his testimony, so let's, let's continue. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. General. Council, it happened this way. When Bunja was called, Bunja did not agree on the issue of swearing. Bunja said that he will not step in the witness box. He refused to testify. When Yaya Dabo was called, Yaya refused to be sworn in. But he accepted to step in the witness box. So eventually, Yaya was allowed to, test, to, to step in the witness box without swearing. So he gave his evidence, and then that was it for the day. But, but Bunja refused to step in the witness box. So they did not reach at the level of swearing. Then we went back, we were taken back to mile two. A new date was given. We were taken there again. But, this, but this time Bunja refused to go to the Courtroom. He stayed at the prison yard. But Yayadabo accepted to go to the prison. And he was taken. And so that day too, um, Yaya, Yaya said the same thing. That what he wrote about Fofana's involvement was not true. So he's, he's denying that, that Fofana wasn't involved. But Emeba was, was there that day. He stepped in the witness box. And, and he told the judge that when he knew about the, the, the coup he told my orderly that he wanted to see me. And the orderly brought him to me. And he told me about the plan coup. That was the evidence he gave. But he said he didn't tell me he, he was afraid to mention that during the court martial. Because he thought that if he mentioned that in the court martial, I was going to go after him. That was what he said in the court. I was going to go after him. And then that was how we, we, we closed for the day. And then in the subsequent days, um, he continued testifying until we reached at the, um, at the ruling um, judgment day. Um, the judge was Iqpala. In the judgment, certainly our lawyer was optimistic that we were going to win the case. Our, our lawyer was Sirif Because it is very clear in the law that when you charge somebody for treason, there is no way he can be sentenced in, in on corroborated evidence. So it was obvious that in my case, I was obvious that in my case, the evidence adduced by 
Modu Aliuba. Modu Aliuba is here and the role Mendy. Wasn't corroborated by any witness. And in Bahanisi, the killing today, me alone, Koyi, the Kuma Kauni, Nyonyo, Nyomu, Dale. And because nobody adduced evidence against Sajjo Fofana. And Muntu Malami, me na Moma, said and the card, Kasado, Sajjo Fofana, Dum. Because I'm, 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 Yaya Dabo withdrew. To testify. So on the judgment day, I was found guilty by the judge Ikpala. Even though that the, the evidence adduced by Emeba was incorroborated, he still found me, found me guilty. And that was how I was sentenced, even though I was serving the, the, the death sentence at that time. Then this judgment was still passed on me. So in the first trial, you were sentenced to death. Correct. We all, all the nine of us were sentenced to death. Uh, what happened to this eight person, the, the person Izidin Rambo? What happened to him? In that case, after our sentencing, and we are all serving in the mild two prisons, one evening, Rambo was taken away. But he was staying opposite my room. And we were worried. I was worried particularly. Why was he being taken away in that late evening around yeah, 7 yeah, p.m.? between 7 and 8 p.m. Because when he was going, he went with only his jumper. You know, so later on, we try to inquire that is in the, in the following days, until later we had that, he left the country. And we are made to understand that he had a presidential pardon. Nicodemusly? At night, so this then was, pardon. This was around 8 p.m. This was around 8 p.m. Ninkera, Talang, say A pardon at night, and suddenly on that same day, the person was whisked out of the country. Yam Foketa Mola Mianoko, Keta Sudo Lano, Suda Kilmon, and Arana Bangobula. Did it look regular to you? Oh, Keta Feneti Mianoka, and Yantaka Kebang. For us, we felt that maybe the president has that authority. And when, it com when it comes to the issue of being regular or not, I could, rem I could remember some prisoners being pardoned around that same time of 8 p.m. It had happened on several occasions. All right, so it was no big deal for you. Certainly, hence it was happening, so it wasn't a big deal. The, the, rumor, the rumor in town was that he was paid money to release that person. If that, if that was to be the case, would you still say that that is regular? As we are not privy to that information, that rumor. I know that, I know that mighty unlawful, wouldn't it? Council, I know that the president, president in, is, in, is, in, is vested with powers uh, to accord pardon to prisoners. General, could you, could you use former president instead of the president? Okay, because the record may... Sorry, sorry, Council. General, Nibe Diamula is for President Koto, Kakala for President Oni. I agree, sorry, Council. Thank you very much. General, you seem to be avoiding. General, I come to go, he can bore the wall. Deliberately avoiding saying anything that would suggest that Yaya Jame acted unlawfully. That has, been, that has been the trend of your entire testimony. Thank you. Thank you.
That's all. Maybe that is the way you see it. But I know that. But I know that. I'm seated here. To talk the truth. And not about the truth. I don't want to be speculative. In this case, in this case of Rambo, Rambo la kuo. We were incarcerated in the prisons. So whatever happens outside, we cannot be able to confirm that. Anything we'll hear about that will certainly be rumor. That is, that is why this is my position. General, are you still afraid of Yaya Jami? General, for Hani Saibes lending Yaya Jami. Council, I had never been afraid of Yaya Jami. Yaya Jami was my president and commander in chief. And of course, I have to give him that honor and respect. And even, even President Baro, is the same honor and respect I accorded him. And, 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 and it is general, not because I'm afraid. I was afraid. No. And, 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 and general, we all do respect our president and the commander in chief. And in general, past, or, be, past or present. Be, but but if, if our, our commander in chief acted unlawfully, we still should be in place to have the courage to pronounce it as an unlawful conduct. Just like you were willing to condemn the killing of Daba Marena as unlawful, and just like you were able to condemn the fact that the president killed his own sister or cousin. And of for I never said that he killed his own sister. You can go through my evidence. I never mentioned that. Well, you, you, you seem to have accepted. And that evidence be brought forward. I never say that because I had no evidence which suggests that he killed his own sister. Ah. Okay, when you go home, review the tape, uh, review the record, I would withdraw that. But uh, between you and I, you would know what you said. You can review it. So but I the fact of the matter is... Also, I will disagree when you say between you and I. This is a courtroom where I give my testimony. So, uh, General, so when you, I have withdrawn that. Are you, you satisfied? I am. Okay. So, so, so when you go home, you review what you have said. And, and the commission would also review what you have said. But you seem to have condemned the killing of Daba Marena and, uh, and, 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 and Masi, Masi Jame. The general, uh, Masi Jame. Yes. Masi Jame Fanyato. Certainly, I can condemn it as I am human. Ah, and so, by you know, but, 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 but I never made any but, suggestion but, that it was the president who killed them. I when life. lives are lost, one has to condemn them. Certainly. Uh, General, maybe somebody would just cut that part of the video and post it somewhere. But when you go home, uh, re, uh, watch it, I withdraw the statement uh, as if you've never made it. But the issue here is... And so even whereas if that is the case... You know, it must be slip of the tongue. General, that was not what I meant. There have there been many slips of the tongue. And I cannot remember making such statements. There have been many slips of the tongue. Slips of the tongue. We would put that aside. Of but course, you, it is but human. It is human to make errors. I agree to that. But General, you would agree with me. But General, you would agree with me. General, I based on the Maleko that the system that convicted you, uh, Maralo mi alonko wale sorong luato violated your rights. Wale ela nyanto tinyale. Council, certainly I blame the court system. Council, tonya tonya ngakiti bunda lijalay. I was sentenced by a court of law. Kiti bunda wale sorong. So I blame that. I've mentioned here that the director of public prosecution, or, or, or if, even where I say I don't mention that, I want to bring that to the attention of the commission. That prior to our, our charges being, being implemented, 
Each of us, we did nine. Dolmo konanto be. We are taken to the ages chamber. Yen samba ministry member luwal ninti kiti ndiro kunyala. The day that we were taken there. Lungo mene yen samba ministry kunda bundaro. That day it was myself. Olungo nte kunde ngalam. Robimbai. Robimbai. Modugei. Modugei. We are taken before the DPP Chenge. Yen samba DPP Chenge ya member marle kiti ndiro kunyala masakla kama masakunda la Karola. I was the first to be led into his office. Yen tere kila kentele kera mo follow ti yemen tambe ndi al office okono. In reaching his office, bidu mfuta al office okono. He looked at me. Aingu be. He said, Oh, you are young CDS. You are young general. Konya ite mu young ite mu din din na CDS le soja niyato ko din din malti. Oh, you look smart and you are you know you are handsome. Konya be niyari mbakale. He said to me, Look at this file. Konya niyim file oju be. This is this file contains in file or member kono evidence said and the and photographs of the boat you people boat in Bissau. Well, I mean, not all me and Kulung elements and Bissau that was going to transport the weapons to the Gambia for your plan. Kulung and the Kidol in Natal and Puru Alaku Alakuritani for your plan. Cool, well, I fear could a good affair. He said to me now, when you could sign, what I want is left a man all of them if you could serve as state witness. He had a baby son, the Kaki said, or the member of the Bola Masala Carola. If you agree to that, he's on the wall from here, my office here. I will not young, no office of Konajan. You are going straight home. You be said as well. You will not. Return back to my. It's a murder, my casuoto. My response to him was. Na jabi ro kera menti aye. I am not that type. Manke o mo fasongo. I said, I'm sure you heard about me. Kaya ko nji kita yenda kumo moele. And look at me properly. Jube fam fam keba. There is no situation. Yeah, cool. La la nyanya la tije. That can warrant me to lie. Member is able to take a funny offer. Pardon. And leave my colleagues in in the prison. And no more money or dollar mura kasbula kasor. All I can tell you. Kaya nzi mbe phoneo eh. That the allegations were a lie. I said to him, return me back to my hometown. That was how I was led out of his office. Then Modugay was ushered in the office. The same offer was given to Modugay, which he declined. He was led out. Brigadier General Omar Mbai was led in. Brigadier General Obi Mbai fana ya fana ndundi. The same offer. Fana nyakiri mnyama. Which he declined. Fana mbalanta. So in a sense, ro njia lilo kam. All the nine of us. Dolmo kono ndo be. Got offers. Ye 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 bunya fengo le dibni. So that you can accept the the making of the coup. Isaje si son koko kudeta ni mbai ta. Serve as a witness. Brigadier Kesedoti. And then you'll 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 be pardoned to go home. Be yamfale Brigadier Se iswa kono. Which we all decline. Anu be balanda wala. General, counsel. You would not have been convicted with regards to the 2006 coup if there was no emeba. General. Tendo lua bloote la lekang foye sorong na atra nung eme ba lakuma kwa tije. You agree? Sonda wala fu. Kansul, I agree that if in if in eme ba testifying before me. Kansul, sonda wala hendi ngara kwa eme ba si dandro di nyati lengo la. The law is very clear on that. Lua wosene ata wotole. Anybody charged for treason. Momo yalongo ya tu mi ni tu marija wala jamwa jawa la. Cannot be sentenced with uncorroborated evidence. Imari to umari sorono ni ngara si dandro mendi la kiti onyati lengo la kui si dandro ni ngi manyo muda. General, your answer could have been a simple yes, and we save all that time. General, ele jabulo njia njenga kila nundo rong hala te rong isaje inkana wati jamata. So, like I said, this is not a court proceeding. And so, come anga afi njia njamba ke kidi. This is an investigation. I should be allowed to to explain further. And we first ele njia nasilo dina na kumpanda kuhusu sata. But you haven't given any further explanation. All you have just done is just to move on to issues that you were not asked. Bahari saya ika iman teruk kumul fokang fok kende ke ibe mim fokang dora ika kumul le jabi mian ime nyingkawa. But let me proceed. Bahari saya ambat dengan kontine. Ime ba was pardoned by the president. Ime ba presiden oleh yang futai. Correct. Tonya. You just told us. Ya fonya jangko. That kebaring kebaringo. Bojang. Bojang was used. Kebaringo ya tare. To influence the president. Ruka adundi presiden oleh diko. Toko to bring out Emeba, prior Emeba fintindi na on Trump up charges to convict you. Come ya we na idea mo ita kang isaje sete sorono. Certainly I said that here that that was the plan they said in the prison. But how follow no follow ko ya wo fero le sete no. Just tell me a yes or no. That we don't. Fonya dorong ha wala. Otherwise we'll be here till tomorrow. Ni wante mbata raja na for Sam. Kebaringo. Kebaringo. Sorry. Emeba. 
emeba was facilitated by yaya jame yaya jame le ya keko kome anyanda kelemindi true or false omo to nya di ba i don't understand when you say it was facilitated well mo yeah. ko rolo ni o i know that it was kevan ngala nako who carried those words to the president so I see uh, as Kebaringo was the one who facilitated. By talking, so by talking the president. President. You are prepared to blame everybody else except Jame, who accepted. Who, who approved? Who made it happen? You blame everybody else except Jame. For Isn't that the case? For one time. And so that isn't the case. When you talk about who facilitated for Emeba to get out of the prison, it's obvious that it was Kebarimo who facilitated. And it was the who president approved. who was the president who approved. Exactly. Exactly. I, I accept that. If the president did not approve for Emeba to come out of prison, would he have been out? He wouldn't have been out. He wouldn't have been out. The deal require the deal that Me. enabled Emeba to come out of prison half his dues paid giving double promotion and he testified against you would that have happened without the Jame? and so Members, Absolutely. officers in the Gambia Armed Forces, uh, so, their promotions are sanctioned or are approved by the president. president. So it's obvious that he approved Emeba's promotion. But, but you could have simply said yes. You could have simply said yes. So this explanation you've just given is a waste of our time. And so my position is clear. In certain instances, I will explain. I will not give the word yes. I said this is not a court of law. It's not a trial. So, so Emeba came out of jail to testify against you on, on, the, on the basis of a deal with Yaya Jame. On the basis of a deal with Yaya Jame. On the basis of a deal with Yaya Jame. Obviously. Kanzul, uh, uh, this is the problem between me and you. Kanzul, I wasn't aware of a deal between Emeba and President Yaya Jame. But, but, but General, it is Emeba obvious team. you are just denying General, a patently obvious fact. You told us the deal organized by Keba Ringo. From Kanilai. From Kanilai. He was used to convince Yaya Jame. Atelek diamuta Yaya Jame for purka sondi. Yaya Jame brought out Emeba from prison. Yaya Jame Emeba boni nang kasokon. Gave him back all his back pay. Aya fengo be diyalmi anyanta kajoala. Gave him double promotions from captain to to from lieutenant to major. You were charged on the basis of his allegation. And you were convicted on the basis of that. You are prepared to blame everybody else except Yaya Jame. General, that is glaringly obvious. General, that is glaringly obvious. Council, that isn't the case. If you see it that way, well and good. General, you are afraid to implicate Yaya Jame in all the wrongful deeds against you and against your colleagues. General, if you see that you are afraid to implicate Yaya Jame in all the wrongful deeds against you and against your colleagues. General, that is the fact. If that is your position, fine. That is your position. And general, in fact, that is the reason why you general. were released when you were released from jail. Uh, you wrote to Yaya Jame. Yes, Jame And all you did was praise him. 
there was nowhere in your letter where you in fact suggested the unlawfulness of your imprisonment. I'll send you a copy. <coughs> and uh, perhaps maybe you should read out the letter yourself. You agree that you were, you were wronged by the country. You agree that? Let, let, let me see the copy. You, you agree that you were wronged by the country, you were wrongly incarcerated? I had said that several times. Before. Exactly. Take a look at the letter. And read it out. Read it all out to the commission. A current bank commission, I am. Council, what is the what is the connection for me reading this letter here? Council, ningye mung choki nyolo le nadi ndela ni letteru karam. Are you also afraid to read it? Fei sila dala ka karam ba. Afraid of who? Kasila jumala. To read it out to the public? Priya karam jamal rahmano be amai. I think that should be your assassin. Just answer. Oh, no, no, I'm just asking you. Gani ningkal? I ask you Gani ningkal? I'm not here to answer questions. I'm here to ask the question. I didn't explain that one. Yeah, hold on a second. Um, witness, Sedo. is that um, a true copy of the letter you sent to President Yame? I mean, taking a good look at it. President Yame. Yeah, but I cannot even remember this one. It's, it is how many years from now? It is just a copy. And yeah, you copy it, that's why I ask you if it is a true copy of what you sent to Jame. It could be true, but I cannot remember. It's close to, it's it's close to, it's close to it's 10, it's 10 years ago. You 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 know. What is the date on the letter there? Yes, yes. So there is no date. That's why I cannot remember. Well, Mr. Chair, if he did not date the original, the copy would not have a... So there is no date on the letter? But Mr. And Chair, Mr. Chair if he refuses... No, I'm coming, coming. Yeah, if I'm... Uh, so, no date on the letter? There is you no don't date. Recall no, no address, date. no date, no nothing. It's just a mere copy like this with my picture there. Imagine, what authenticity does this have? Council, can you go ahead and then read the what uh, there? What is it? Council, is okay, uh, please begin. send it to me. Just Mr. Chair, if, 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 the, if the witness cannot accept that, there, there is a record of his interview with the Daily Observer. But, 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 I would read out. Please go ahead. I would read out the letter of uh, appreciation. Uh, this is published. If you Google it in the internet, you will find it. And uh, this is the caption: Former CDS Tamba writes to President. 
Coming Kibaruko ni ndomi mbije walen a CDS Kotoni a safari kwa kata president waka. The former chief of defence staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lang Tombong Tamba, has written a letter of appreciation to the president of the republic, His Excellency Sheikh Professor Al Haji Dr Yaya A J J Jame Babili Mansa, for granting him a presidential pardon that reunited him with his family. Ah, komisa ah letero ni mpuka suti ani mimi je wala ni ndiko itefcds koto ni ye letero safari ya ki president wa kaitanda la ye konda no minsoro kabla ye bondi kaso na kiamfe. And the message reads. Sain kumakoa ni mimfoda. Letter of appreciation. Letero mi alonko mbe president wa jaila. First and foremost, I would like to give praise to the. Almighty Allah for this very important day in my life. Follow, follow, be Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tendula prini lungu mami yala keda na baluoko. Reunion with my family and friends. Runga murungo de ni na dimba ya ni teri malbe tala nyoka kote. Without adequate words, though. Allah tara kumakan jamaa man tara nombolo. It is with profound gratitude and sincere appreciation that but, I write this letter to Your Excellency. Mba itandila ko kuming kontano kang benyin letero safarayta President Okang. For exercising the prerogative of mercy by releasing me from sentence. Puro ay nying yamfo minke purka yamfunte kambondi kasoto. My release is of utmost benefit to my family and relations. Nanyum bulo. I never bother seeing the dimbaya alma animba dingol. And therefore, and welcome. We will continue to be grateful to you for this generosity of spirit. The contan, the koni la ko contan le la kuola yeni kukendo mingete. I pray that Almighty Allah continue to protect you on all fronts. Be duale pur Allah subhanahu wa taala se tanka. Guide. Guide and grant you a healthy, long life, so you continue driving this country to highest level of development. Your Excellency, it, uh, Your Excellency, the President. Your action has sent an important message to the whole world. That the Gambia, under your visionary leadership, is tolerant. Coming Gambia Banko Kang, itala nyato nka ya koto, nka sonne, nka sonyoene. Respects our cultural norms and values. Nsanda nga nyo nga horoma ke na adol ni na chosano kwe Kenya. As well as wishes. Animfana lafikuol. Within the context of our governance system. Na nyimansa kundami alanko nka tama nyami. Oneness and sympathy to one another. Ntolbe mo kilinati anunka balafanyo efana. Furthermore. Kal kaku kententeng. This audacious initiative. Yenye nkuo minketeng. Clearly reiterates your democracy. We are itandi la kueto multi miyala kueka democracy la tamandi. Which upholds our cultural and religious norms of mercy and forgiveness. Me alonka ni na adul tata la ni na dino fana tata ni yamfo Kenya. I am proud of you. Contanta bage la kuala. And your government. Ani la masa kunda. For having considered us for pardon. Preyeming silol minta hapurka yang kontole. And may Allah subwana ta'ala positively reward you abundantly. Andung Allah ma aleye jo ila nyimbara kendo miyala yakete. The past few years of my custody were difficult. Wa sa wato miyala nkombe mudarin kaso kona. Kole ata nubake. However. But hani wabe. These days were not just moments of restriction. But. Nilungol doro walmanke lundi miyala ngo kafo doro namfa mudale. But had transformed me spiritually and brought me closer ever to Almighty Allah than I was. Para nata namfali ndile kansuti andi kendeke mariola. My pride goes beyond having learned and completed reciting the Holy Book of Islam, the Quran. Nkonta ndile fola bongon tatele al Quran onka karan nole. But I can now confirm I am a person whose faith in all aspects has strengthened. Alhamdulillah. Nsa afo sain, mba daminto, na dino koming, na la alala saa afanuta la warda sain. Excellency. Ita Excellency. It is my conviction that your decision to release all ex-convicts was against the spirit of tolerance. Mba afo leko ila nyi mbula romi ya yake ntela animo nyol. Waya itandila ko kwe sontale ila banku dingolma.
your in-depth knowledge of the contents and your beliefs in the teachings of the two holy books, the Quran and the Bible. Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism. Sympathy. Balafa. Uh, national reconciliation and development. It is within the same spirit, therefore, that I wish to pledge to you the government and people of the Gambia, Gambia Banco, Gambia Dingol of my allegiance at all times and forever. In addition, I also humbly ask for forgiveness from all Gambian people, including Your Excellency. That I might have wrong or cause any inconvenience while I was serving my custodial sentence. While I assure you and the entire country of my unwavering loyalty and continuous reconciliatory spirit, I must state that under no circumstance will I forget your nobleness in pardoning me. Sincerely, therefore, May I take this prospect to, on behalf of my humble self and on behalf of my family, profoundly thank you for the good gesture and wish you and your first family good health and long life. Furthermore, and to end my letter for now, I wish to deeply assure all contents of this letter emanate from the floor of my heart. And I shall uphold to whatever is stated. Inshallah. Inshallah. Importantly also, I wish to pray for the state mother, Aja Asombi Boja, that Allah protect and give you good health and long life, give her, I mean to say, so that she may continue to give the motherly inspiration to the nation. In conclusion, accept please your excellency, your excellency is a song. the assurances of my highest consideration and fraternality. Long live the Gambia. Long live your excellency. I remain your servant. Former chief of defense staff. That's the letter. It's, it's, it's a beautifully worded letter. Thank, thank you. Thank you, counsel, very much. Uh, witness um, uh, did you write a, um, a letter to President Jame shortly after your release? Council, I'm trying to recall my memory, Chairman. Our legal representative, Sirif Tambedu, once told us that he wrote two letters to the President. One was, I think, Killing on ying, to ask for um, um, clemency. For pray yam for mole. And the other one, Fulanjang. I couldn't remember. Mahakilo mawale man. Probably, Bari. 
this might fall within the letters written by our legal representative. He, he wrote two letters to the president on our behalf. Uh, did, you, did you write to the president at all yourself? I just want to know. Chairman, I'm saying that usually when um, it's our legal counsel who writes to the president on Chairman, our behalf. And he, on, on two occasions, he wrote to the president. And he said to the So did you yourself ever write to the president shortly after your release? I might have, but I can't remember, counsel. Does the, uh, the, there's this letter that the counsel read, did that capture the essence of um, what you would have written if you remember what happened? Certainly, counsel, because it was to show our appreciation for our release. Because even the day we were released, we are all given the opportunity to say something before the national television. And each of us thank the president for releasing us for, for the presidential pardon. So if this is the case, so and our, our, our lawyer said he wrote some, about two letters to the president, this might be among those two letters. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. This is now part of the record. Yes. It's been read into the record. Uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Chair, there is also an interview with the Daily Observer. Mr. Chair, for now. Take, kindly take a look at it. Um, would you recollect that this is a record of the interview? And Mr. Chair, I just want to put on the record Mr. Chair, left that this letter did not purport to emanate from lawyer Sirif Tambedu. Who we all know has worked extremely hard in cases of this nature. And to which we are grateful. And I'm content to work well. Uh, and so what is your evidence on that? He was our legal representative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, my, uh, my evidence, my evidence is to that the letter, the letter purports to emanate from Langtombong Tampa, Tamba, former chief of defense staff. All I'm saying is that is what the record shows. Uh, the point, yeah, sorry, interpreter. The point is well noted, the counsel. Thank you. It's been read as part of the record. Thank Shall we move on to the interview? Um, uh, our situation, not to um, spend time on this now. Uh, do you recall having made this interview, Yes, I did. Uh, would you agree that this this is the record of that interview? Yes, this was. Uh, General, uh, General, you said that when you stepped out of prison, you spoke to the press. And you... All of you thanked the president. president Yes, I did. Uh, uh, my okay. purpose of bringing this out is no other reason than 
but to show that this was the system. But kaita ndiko nyine mu kuolti miyala ngu kuol katama nu wala nyama. Everybody had to praise the president. Mo mo ya je nyanda kaita ndi president wala kwe ba fiele. And thank him. Ya ya faya kaya baraka. For pardoning you. Pro ayyam fo minkali. Irrespective of whether. Fa ya tarako. You were unfairly or improperly uh, detained or convicted for ye muta nyami kasoto atatani silo la famantani silo wala ye soro luwa ye soro nyami atatani silo famantani silo and that, that was the expectation and wala mo bebe jikiru no wala general that was the only reason i brought this thing up general wo dalilo da malaya tin na nganyin kuma kan fintindina you are not the only person ita manke ita da mama amanke ita da mala to have sent a letter to the president thanking him. Letter was sent. Cut letter was given. President of Kafaya Baraka. But that was the system. But he called Benu Wala Nyama. It and this is the kind of system. And when you crucify them, no, the commission, or at least me, is bringing out to show how deplorable that the system would convict a person wrongly. And once the person is released, the person is expected to praise and apologize to that same system that wronged the person coming mbole fintindi kan commission commission onyi walante mbole fintindi kan kaitandi ko hana tara momi yaron ko luwa e muta ye sorong ana manke to nya kanti hani wo be ni luwa e bula e ka muru koten e kana e ka president e kaitandala ko luwa e muta le yem bula so mbe mbe yam fo mba fule ko abaraka for all those people who have been wrongly imprisoned, we as a country, we owe you. We have to correct that wrong we have done against them. And, and and not expect them to turn around and sing praises to the president who is responsible for wrongly putting them in jail. And I'm going to go be fintila na nka president or jai ayatra wo kan kwa en soron kaso kono la nyala mi ala ko anin luwa manta. And that is the point. And wo lefo mu quote de. Thank you general. General Balaka. I have no further questions. Ma nyinin ka do so to be nyinin ka la minna. And Mr. President, uh, Chair, Mr. Chairman, Mr. I would Chair. ask to put the two reports. Uh, you know, you know, report you know, at the then. ICC, we always say, <laughs> no, Mr. I President. Know, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, it's just <laughs> habit. So I would ask that the two documents uh, be put in evidence. Uh, uh, what, what's uh, Mr. Chair, exhibit numbers? I would give you an exhibit number uh, after this break. Fine. Thank you. Could, yeah. could the Secretariat get me the document, please? Thank you very much indeed. And uh, if the commissioners um, uh, don't have any questions, we will uh, have um, the general make his closing remarks. Not the commissioner, man, you can answer the question. You can answer. So it is general law. Is it the amulet bang on the But before he uh, uh, gets to that one, there is one very very small point that I want him um, uh, uh, him to clarify. But the janimbo for the law, could we be defending the meal on the left side of I don't know if it's um, in connection with the uh, 2009 attempted coup. Uh, did I understand that the country was plunged that the country was plunged into a political and perhaps a conspiratorial uh, mayhem by what you referred to as two small boys? Seven, nine, ten year old plunging the Gambia in that kind of uh, chaos? Come here, come for Dindin Melong on me. I tell you, if I have a word, Dindin K. Fulol, me along with Leketa Modimia and Cafuta Dentanola, coming Kanyim Banco Dundi, Banco Tatan Munkon and Wato. You refer to them as um, small boys, two yeah, small boys, two small boys. Um, how old um, uh, were they? Yeah, for Janago, you call more commanding Dindin Nut, Dindin Fula. Ako wato fo wol be sanji jelle wo wato Ya man they might be around 15 16 Ski no be sanji tan ni lulu sanji tan ni woro Extraordinary uh, please Unyo proceed manchato. Please proceed them to make your closing remarks Ya iso kondine no le yela kuma kala ba ngodi commission no nyato jam Chairman of the commission 
Chairman of Commission Order, Jang. Members of the Commission. Ani mol mi alam ko yung Commission Order, Jang. Lead Council. Lead Council. Deputy Lead Council. Ana no malang ko. Executive Secretary. Ani mi alam ko yung kafole Executive Secretary. All those present here. Ani mol mi alam ko yung baby ma bearing, Jang. My family members. Mat nab dimbayal. Members of the press. Ani kibab talag. I say a big thank you for this commission, in commission order. For, for giving me the opportunity for to sit here and talk of issues that concerns me many a times when I'll be watching your proceedings I'll see some of the witnesses making mention of me and I felt that this is an opportunity for me to appear in passing and set, set light in, in that respect. I want to say here that all what I said here was said freely without any intimidation or whatsoever. <coughs> and that is why I have to thank the commission for the way and manner in which the proceedings were carried out here. Certainly this will give confidence to I mean, for those who have not been here, we will give them confidence to get the mind to appear before this commission. We must all be convinced as Gambians that there is no, I mean, we must all be convinced as Gambians that this commission we as Gambians, we should be convinced this commission is not set up for a witch hunt, but instead to uncover things that have happened because it is only uncovering those issues that can help us all to make the corrections. And it is against that background that I decided to come here. And I want to assure you that all what I said here, I have said it to the best of my ability. I see the country bigger than I am and the interest of the country is what interests me. You have a big tax to carry out but I'm happy you are doing it fine and, and with Allah's guidance certainly you will do this to the best satisfaction of all Gambians. Certainly it may not be possible for all to be satisfied. But I'm happy that I've seen the majority of the, the panelists, the commissioners, are all elderly people. Most, most of them are parents and I've known some of you and certainly I have confidence in this commission that it will discharge its duties because like I said earlier I know them, there are certain books that will guide us and when I see landed people in the Quran and landed people and in the religion of Christianity that further gives me hope that the deliberations of 
this commission. Ah, commission on yena dogo mi yana kanya ndaka woleke. That further gives me hope. Wale funo ya tina funga jiko soto kendeke. That it will be done. Komi ba kelele in the best of the ability. Ya no nyami. Without fear or favor, it will be affectionate. To we Gambians, let us see Gambia. Let us see Gambia first. The trend in this country is very sympathetic. We have taken politics to put it at the forefront of everything. Let us, let us be reminded politics Politico. is just, an, it's just like a game. When you are in the field of football, you have 11 players in both sides. At the end of the day, one team has to win. Politics is the same. Politico All sides cannot be winners. But it is important that, that one team that wins we all celebrate together because we must be reminded that we the elderly our days are gone so we have to work hard to leave a good legacy for our families and others yet to come. My appearance here today was centered on so many areas. I was a former chief of defense of the Gambian forces. And I thank God that I happen to be the first to be promoted to general rank. It was not because I was better than the others. Not because, I, not because I was more landed than the others. But that was the will of God. And it has ever been my position to discharge my duties in the right Right way. But hence I am human. And to err is human. During the course of my, 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 my duty as chief of defense staff, I might have made some mistakes. I might have had some shortcomings that wasn't deliberate, that wasn't willful, those that were arrested and subsequently prosecuted and sentenced. I want to say to you that I, it was my conviction that during the investigation to see to read that all of you were fairly treated in fact that was why at one time when, when i saw one of you in the name of farin sanya in that type of, type of terrible situation it really hurt me because that was not what I wanted to see. And also during that time we worked hard to see to read that the ground was level for all, all of you. But hence, we did not have complete control over the on, over you people that time. But something, something, something might have gone wrong. As I was the most senior on the ground at that time, I wanted to take charge of all situations. I wanted to take charge of situations at the time. But that wasn't the case. 
because of what the situation was. So therefore, so I want to say to all of you, in one way or the other, whatever might have happened, it wasn't our will. It wasn't our will. To, to the extent that, some of you went through some, some difficulties as testified by you before this commission. So I'm saying that if I have in one way or the other, if I have in one way or the other, wrong any of you, I want to tell you that it wasn't deliberate, it wasn't intentional, then I say sorry. I've said it here to air. It's human. I did my utmost to make sure that all of you we are fully taken care of. We are given the opportunity. And in fact, that was what led to my removal from the panel. When the case of Sirif Mustafa Adiba was brought before the panel. Kabre wato miyalanko Sirif Mustafa Adiba alakuo nata wo alfa nyati lomala. So I say sorry to all Gambians that we are one family. But the good thing is those, those very people I'm talking about who were involved in alleged coups I'm happy that during the investigation you are, they accepted during the court martial they, they deny their involvement but when they appeared before this commission they all confess of their involvement that yes they were involved so the bottom line is, yes, they were involved. Probably, um, their denial might have led to some actions being taken. But like I said, but the panel me. was not in cont complete control of that situation. And I, be and, I, and I believe that is why this commission is set up. To correct the wrongs. And I want to assure you that we will all work together to correct the wrongs. Because it is not the best thing. It's not the best way that we Gambians are known for. I also want to thank members of my family, of course my friends, my good visas. Certainly when you are in such a situation, if this is not a difficult situation, it is a situation that you come to say what you know. So you must thank those that stood by you. And certainly my family and my, my friends are among those. I also want to make a plea to this commission. There are certain things that I want them to look into. Left I have noticed that most of there is a group, particular group here that have been left out. The present government is composed of almost all the tribes. All Gambians. However, I've noticed that there are people who have been left out. There are officers who did nothing at all. Who did nothing at all, I say again. Who have been relieved of their duties. 
And I believe that. And we will let go. If we want to move forward. Not left at all. Not all. That should be discouraged. By this, I mean the likes of. Come in, Benjamin Foka, Benjamin Molma, Wole Molmi Alonkoti. Navy Captain. Navy Captain. Silla Kujabi. Silla Kujabi. Colonel. Colonel. Bojang. Bojang. Um, Brigadier General. Brigadier General. Savage. Savage. I have a list. I could not remember all in the list. These are people that have had, have not had of anything that they committed. This is something that hurts in the heart. Probably the commission may not know. As you can know for now, commission no man. All these people have most of them have men's on. They belong to the Jola tribe. I know of former managing directors. Where, where the relief of their duties. Probably they belong to one tribe. As you know, and I don't think this will help. And if we say we want to move forward as a country. I recall in the days of the former president Yahya Jame. In, in fact, in his cabinet, it, there were no more than two Jola as, as ministers. In the military. So, people who handle chiefs of defense staff position. We are not, where most of them were not jealous. I have said it here. When I was the chief of defense staff, my deputy was in the Jola. That was Masane Kinte. The chief of the army staff. Chief of Army Staff, Yankuba Drame, Yankuba Drame, was in the Jola. The Chief of Naval Staff, the Chief of Naval Staff, Sajo Fofana, Sajo Fofana, was in the Jola. Ofana manke Jola. So uh, we had other tribes also in the hierarchy of the armed forces. So I nata si kote ngalfana soto le komi soldier kunda ele mahamol belo rinyo enyami. But for now, but it's same thing. I can say most of the, I'm, I'm, I'm the officers who belong to a particular tribe. Komi zafu ko mol mi yalan ko ye makama kumal soto. Particularly, particularly the Jola tribe have been relieved of their duties. This country, the Gambia, Gambia, never experienced any tribal sentiments. I personally sitting here, I'm a Jola by tribe. My, my first wife is a Jola by tribe. My second wife is a Serer Wolof. But with my first wife, the Jola, those who know us will, will attest to this. I have never spoken Jola with her. Our language of communication has been Mandinka. Up to today, we communicate Mandinka. Because we were made to understand that language doesn't matter. It should not be a barrier. It should reunite us instead. And that is what I want to advise this country. When issues happen, we have to learn from them. We have to learn by experience. And we get the best part of it. That will, that will help us. Today, what I see in this country, Being a in Bangkoka, politics has divided us. Political and I want to call on all political leaders to come together and sensitize their followers. Make them understand it is the country that is bigger than any political party. And in life, there's, there's, there's everything, everything has a life, uh, has a time. In Life. Some of us had served in peacekeeping areas. And we saw a lot. 
and therefore and welcome we stand a position to give advices to our leaders to our leaders our religious leaders so that let them take the forefront i'm, I'm, I'm scared i'm scared of this country and it's and unless and four our religious leaders, our elders, they stand up and face this challenge. Gambia is a small country. All, all we should wish for the Gambia is peace and stability. Another point, Chairman, I want to mention here that the Gambia, Gambia Banco, is blessed. But it is we the people who still don't understand that blessing. The Gambia is a tolerant country. We have Muslims and Christians who live side by side, who marry to one another. That is the great asset that the Gambia has. So therefore, we should be concerned about our children by working hard to see that that peace and stability will continue to surround this country. I personally will want to say here that I don't see any barrier. We have a president in, 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 in place. When you talk, they will say, probably this man wants something from the government. I, I have one high regards for Senegal. And I always envy Senegal. Senegal, Senegal, Senegal after po after politics they become one family they become one family they do everything together as a family that is what i want to see for this country we are approaching elections but the atmosphere is not good it's not encouraging we must all start and see to reach that that atmosphere of fear is removed from the people. And let us know that it is not politics that brings us together. We are together because we are one family. If you go to the village I come from, Sinted village, Sinted we have many tribes. We have Jolas. We have Fulas. We have Mandingol. All kinds of tribes are there. We don't have a problem of tribal sentiments. I have friends here with me. Most of my best friends here in the Greater Banjo. Most of my best friends here in Most of my best friends here in the Greater Banjo. Most of my best friends here in the Greater Banjo. Some of them are Fulas. Some of them are Mandingos. Some of them are Wolofs. So I don't care about what tribe you belong to. I don't care about what tribe you belong to. Then I want to pray to Almighty Allah that Allah brings our hearts and minds together. Allah brings the heart and minds of tolerance. Where we, we, we will be able to tolerate each other as human beings, but not on, on, on tribal lines. To this, to, to my colleagues here, my, my friends, certainly, what I said here came from the bottom of my heart, and it's something I meant. 
akatanya sula court but i want the commission but i left the commission of to consider those appeals i have made na nyin dani rol min ke yewol fana jibe i remembered one brigadier general alaji martin hakilo bakang brigadier general do ka fumi alaji martin uh, martin appeared before this panel martin nana nata nu jenne ka diam but i've never see, seen anybody appear before this panel but nana ma moje mi yalon ka nata nu jang ka si jang who has been laid off from his work ka mi yalon ko ya bondala do koto but alaji martin happens to be laid off from his work but alaji martin fele ya bondala do ko la from the day he left this commission lu ngomi yalon ko abotana nyim commission oto i want to appeal to the chairman but dani lo kala ki chairman and this commission and nyim commission o be to look into the plight of alaji martin ali alaji martin la ko jibe Certainly I have followed his proceedings ah, here. Ah to nyaka nga kro nga jibele nung ka watu na be diamu kan jang. I've never heard where he had killed somebody. No no ma mo yala diamul kono kay mo fa dami. Some of the witnesses that confess killing. So so um, sedol mi ay diamu ta jang ka foko faro ketale. They are maintaining their jobs. And so I will be lorry be la doko ke kan. Probably this has not come to the attention of the commission. Asike no commission on nyim ko mon na nyaatili mala. That is why I decided to bring that forward here. Wala nan ko mbatu ngo na ti commission on nyaatili. So that it could be looked into. Isaje sa ko nyi jibe. Um chairman 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 commissioners commissional lead council and lead, his deputy lead council ana no malanko. I think I don't ma, want to bore you with a long statement. Ma ma jigu ko ko min left ta raja na ka diamo mendi. But I want to assure you that. But left ta ka itandal la ko. I'll be part of those people. Nda be ta ramol ko no le. Will be standing. Min yalla ko be ta ramol le. Out there. Banta jana to preach peace and unity. Ka diamo ka ka wando ka kairo la. Ani nyomuto. So I feel that that is the best way forward for ma, the Gambia. Ma jigu le ko wala m silo da ma te mi yalla ko wala se betata Gambia to. So on that note say welcome I say a big thank you mafla la baraka for inviting me here yang alang commando jang kana jang my coming here na na jang was not based on a force amang ke ko yem force i was in force imam force i was requested to ap to appear here yem kuman le ko el sudata na jang and that is how i came and nata na nja wala thank you very much for your attention ala baraka li la moy na minke May God bless you all. Alama alaya nemal alma. May God be your protector in your this discharge of functions. Alama alaya dema lañu do ko mi alam ko al boole ke kan. May God bless the Gambia. Alama ala nemal la Gambia ma. Thank you sir. Ala baraka. Thank you very much indeed the General Tamba. Baraka General Tamba. Both um, uh, for your testimony and uh, your concluding remarks. Very wise and uh, comprehensive. We thank you enormously for coming to testify. There is some um, uh, a general recognition. That Our country is a tolerant country. Our society is a peaceful society and a harmonious one. And when coming to Lanyim Banco, Banco le miyang kasong no male and on Cairo, Cairo bijam fana. However, but hani wobe kang for 22 years. Sanji mo nim fula. Horrific violation of human rights and abuses occurred here. Fengol keta le miyalo ko hadama dumol Lanyim tol ye tinya tinya jo pa Lanyim Banco kang. In order to correct what really happened, we have to know exactly what it is that um, transpired in this country during that period. And that's what this commission has been mandated to do. And the commission of fun, ye bula wala, to seek um, uh, the truth of what happened. Katonya nining kula miyalong kwa wala kata. And uh, we are going to continue doing that. But continue like okay. With no deviation. Ah, that a man for them fancy can walk around. Not um, any entity would in intimidate us and from among, that objective. And if more, while I do go bunda, water, water, atinala kasi lango dun dun dafanta waka. Senior officials, some like yourself. 
who appear before this commission will obviously be in the hot seat as uh, you have been for the past three days. It is not going to be as the same Mandinka Prabhu. The hot seat that you have been in for the past three days. It's obvious it's going to happen. It's going to, we're going to put any leader, any person who had responsibility at a very high level in the same hot seat to assist us in establishing the truth. I will read you two primary objectives Emma, that the a National Assembly gave this commission. It included in that list that we address impunity. We're going to come to that at some point. It also mandated us to prevent a repeat of the violations and abuses suffered by making recommendations for the, for the establishment of appropriate preventive mechanisms, including institutional and the legal reforms. We have for the past month or so been looking at institutional issues. We will continue doing that to um, be able to make appropriate recommendations Isa at the je, end of our work. Uh, nothing would deter us from Fente, pursuing this mandate. We will do it until hell freezes over. glass. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? <laughs> uh, until hell freezes over. <laughs> well, I don't know how you're going to translate that, but I was leaving that to your interpreter. But uh, um, uh, I just want to emphasize that we are not going to be uh, deterred from uh, uh, what our objective really is. But again, again, I thank you very much, General Tamba, for coming to uh, uh, testify before the commission. Council, before we conclude, you have some uh, exhibit numbers to give, I believe. Uh, please proceed. Yes, I will provide them tomorrow, Mr. Chair. Oh, tomorrow. Thank okay. you. Okay, fine. Thank you all very much indeed. We will resume our proceedings summer tomorrow morning, sharp 10 o'clock. Thank you all very much indeed. Meeting is adjourned.